Psoriasis is a form of wind dryness. Now there can be heat and dampness and other things, but keep in mind we're going to go over the ointment, which is about 30% herbs to 70% of whatever you're mixing it into, in this case alvoline and vaseline, but you can also make a straight uh, hair powder wash that you mix with water, warm water, and, and rinse the hair with, which is Sheng Shigao, Bai Zhe, Bai Shan Pi, and Tu Fu Ling. That's one uh, simple hair wash. It can also be used in other areas of the body to wash the body or use as a, as a powder because it's a kind of a white powder and it's very simple to use. Now the ointment has Qing Dai. It stains everything, so keep that in mind. When you make the ointment, it's not the powder, which is basically a hair wash, something you could also wash under the arms, for example. Again, you can use it in the shower, but the ointment you're going to rub in. So Qing Dai, Ku Shen, Huang Qin, Dan Shen, Zi Chao. So that is your basic ointment. Again, Qing Dai is the primary ingredient at 18 grams. So this is a 5 to 1 concentrated powder. Basically, you order from your herbal supplier in a 5 to 1 concentrate. So again, we're going to use about 20 grams of the alveline, which is a mineral oil substance with a little paraffin, and then about 10% of that 20 grams is actually Vaseline. We're going to add that in too. You can see that there, the alveline and the Vaseline. Why? Because wind dryness, we're making an ointment. We need something thick, viscous, and moistening. You may want to use gloves. You don't need to for this process. We're going to put some wax paper out just to make things uh, clean and simple. We we'll need to weigh things out. We have a scale out there. You see our 5 to 1 concentrated powder right there that we've ordered and a sieve so that we can make sure only the finest parts of the formula are used in the ointment. And so those are our basic tools. Keep in mind that you can use um, an apothecary spatula to mix with. We have simple tools here, plastic tools that you can also mix with. So again, when you're using uh, some variation of Qing Dai for external use for psoriasis, keep in mind that Qing Dai will stain just about anything. You may want to have people wear an old t-shirt when they rub it in. You're going to rub that in about two, three times a day. Less is more. It should kind of disappear for the most part. Here we are prepping the surface with wax paper. That's just for mixing purposes and we'll get to that in a little bit. We'll also cut some squares out and things to weigh things on. I'll make a few extra squares here, but pretty much just to keep things neat and tidy. So again, once you're done with this, keep in mind that it does need to soak in and mix. So it takes a, at least two, three days once you do the final mixture for it to be ready to use. You can keep it at room temperature. It'll last for up to about a month, but after that it may go bad. So keep in mind that that's something that you don't want to keep for too long. This is a fresh mixture. Again, you see our alveline picture there, which is basically a mineral oil substance. People use it a lot for removing makeup. You can use another version of any kind of mineral oil substance that's thick like that. It's a mineral oil paraffin combination. And again, of that 20 grams of of this mixture, we're going to have about 80 to 90% alveline and about 10% vaseline to make up our 20 grams. And then up to 30% of that will be the herbal mixture we talked about with Ching Dai. Notice this the Zi Chao is also very cooling. It cools the blood, as you know, internally, but also externally is good for that cooling the blood property for the toxic heat. And of course, also we have the Huang Chin, which is very cooling. So we're kind of moving the blood, moistening the wind dryness, clearing the heat and toxins from the skin. We really want to prevent uh, that wind dryness from building up different plaques. You'll find people will respond well to this in general. Now, these things have to be customized depending on the diagnostics involved in the type of psoriasis that's presenting. So this is a very general formula. So here we are weighing out approximately 20 grams of alveline and in reality of that 20 grams a little bit of that will be vaseline so 
that's just to make a nice ointment and that's just for purposes of suspending the formula and having it get into the skin when you rub it in you you want less is more so a very thin layer two or three times a day onto the affected areas and again warning people about the staining issues And that's just one type of brand of petroleum jelly. Any brand of petroleum jelly will do. Uh, any white petroleum jelly is fine. Since there's a little too much, we'll take a little bit off. Get that just right to about 20 grams. We're going to, we're going to for today, go up to the full 30%. So it's going to be a little extra thick. But in general, I tend to do about 20% for my ointments. But we'll go up to a full six grams of five to one concentrated powder for today and have the full thickness. But again, you can go a little thinner. Uh, often is a, a better ointment. And this next stage, we're going to take the 5 to 1 concentrated powder and run it through a sieve 60 mesh 80 mesh even thinner is good now if you get up to like a scientific grade of something like an 800 mesh that's not going to work that's simply uh, you're not going to get most powders through something like that but the truth is the thinner the better you can even use a flour sifter sometimes but you really want to get it as thin as possible and just use a sieve to kind of make sure no coarse particulates get in there. So ultimately we need to combine the alboline and Vaseline product with the herbs to get it to a nice ointment texture. This is one technique. Now normally you would use um, an apothecary spatula in figure eight patterns. So this is um, with simple household shop tools, a little different mixing process, maybe not quite as elegant but it does work quite well. And so here we have our, our powder that's been refined a little bit through the sieve. And then we combine that. You can see it's just starting to get mixed in nicely and making an ointment like texture. It'll have a slightly thinner, creamier texture. If you don't use the full 30%, you can go down to 20%, 15%, even 12% of herbs to the um, alboline mixture and you'll be fine. This is a slightly stronger variation up to the full 30%. So it's pretty thick. Again, once this is fully mixed, it's still going to take two to three days before the mixture is completely mixed together and soaked in. So you could technically use it right away, but I would rather uh, have the patient wait at least a day or two, but usually two, three days. 
at a minimum. Now with the hair wash, all you do is you take um, two, three, four tablespoons and a pint of warm water, mix it together, and then wash it in, in the shower and let it sit for a bit, just like someone would let conditioner sit, and then you would rinse it out, for example. And you could also take a, a towel or cloth, something, and uh, wash under the arms or in different folds or creases. It's also great. And the nice thing about the powder is that it doesn't stain, and it's very refreshing, and it causes a lot of relief for people. This can be used, uh, this ointment in a lot of areas, it can be used in the belly button, the navel area, many areas on the face, the skin. If people are more adventuresome, you could use it on the scalp. So here we are just putting it in a little container. Uh, keep in mind this stains everything, so uh, we'll be careful not to have it on the edges. We'll clean the edges off. Um, I will use a little extra scotch tape to secure the top on so that in transport it doesn't cause a problem for someone in their car or on the way home or if you're mailing it to someone. In this case, we'll be mailing this one. So that is a pretty large supply because you had 20 grams of the alvoline vaseline combo with the 6 grams of herbs. That should last for the average person well over a month. And we'll tape it up after cleaning out that rim. Sometimes people do like to wear uh, plastic gloves or something in the office if you're moving quickly or even a bib. And just for good measure in a Ziploc bag, just keep things nice and clean. And there you have it, the Qingdai Psoriasis Ointment. Qingdai Ku Shen Huang Qin, Dan Shen Zi Chao. Now the Ku Shen, obviously, for the cleaning up the also the dampness on the skin as well because it is wind dryness but it can be mixed with dampness as well Dan Shen is very cooling and moves the blood also so it's a nice addition to this formula